mums, welcome to episode 6. Today I want to talk a little bit about investing. With all the doom and gloom that we've been hearing and about markets crashing and investment values bottoming out, a lot of people have been asking a lot of questions. Shall they cash in their policies? Is it worth investing? And if money's tight, in, as it is in many cases, people have been asking, shall I cash in my retirement savings? Shall I cancel my policies? So I wanted to touch on these issues a bit today. So the first thing I want to say to you is when you have money invested, it is only really, you, the, you see the value of the money when you withdraw it. So between when you're investing and when you withdraw the money, there'll be lots of highs and lows. And we do know that the financial markets recover. We've had crashes before, we've had very, very bad economic circumstances before, and the financial markets do recover. But the important thing is that when you withdraw your money, that is when you actually realize your loss. So while the money is sitting there, it has a chance to recover. Your investment has a chance to recover along with the market. So the first thing is leave your money where it is, let it carry on growing. It will recover, the markets will recover, your investments will recover. Then the second question about investing going forward. Somebody said to me the other day, she wants to stop her retirement investing. She doesn't want to put any money towards retirement anymore because it won't be worth anything. And the point is it's exactly the opposite. When you are investing, when the financial markets are low like now, you're investing in bargain basement times. It's like going to Woolworths or Edgar's and buying a top or a dress on sale. Everything is on sale, everything is cheap. So by investing now, your money will grow even greater going forward. So please don't stop investing. Also very important is that of course, you have invested for the long term. So you have a long term investment horizon. So don't let any kind of short term issues derail you from that. Then of course the question of what about if I'm cash strapped, if I don't have money? And there it's a very tough one. It's a very difficult decision. But the thing is, I believe in being practical. There's no point in having money that you're putting away every month for retirement when you actually can't buy groceries or you can't pay your basics. So take a premium holiday on those policies, on those investments, stop paying them for a while. And if you really have to cash in on those, then cash in some of the money. Don't take it all. Try and minimize the amount that you withdraw. But the point is that it doesn't make any sense to carry on investing for tomorrow if you actually are battling, you actually cannot survive today. And you really, if you can prevent going into debt through these trying times, then you need to do that. So the bottom line really is to keep investing through thick and thin. Your investments will eventually recover. It may take a couple of years. We don't know how long it will take, but it will recover. Avoid debt if you're in any kind of financial pickle at the moment, if money is tight. And if you have to draw from your current savings, do so, but minimize that as little as possible. Thank you and keep well till next time. For a wide range of pure organic CBD products, choose Rethink CBD. Choose your dosage of scientifically formulated pure CBD isolate in daily oils, capsules, teas and shots for less stress, sleepless nights and discomfort. Rethink CBD is endorsed by the Cannabis Research Institute of South Africa. Choose Rethink CBD.